last time I watched a reality TV show and cried was way back Big Brother Ninja when they evicted the housemates that I really, really liked. And then today I was watching the MTN Yellow Star show and um, Uzezi and Dave Wills especially were evicted and I found myself screaming in my house. And my security man thought that there was something actually wrong with me. Not a hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is the girl with the tea. Eh? This is the girl with the tea. Guys, how you doing? Listen, guys, um, I'm really sorry I did not have my YouTube live stream today. As I mentioned earlier, or I mentioned yesterday evening when I had the live stream, I told you guys that today was going to be really, really busy for me. And so, guys, I was on the road the most of today. See my face. My face is darker than usual. But anyways, that's by the way, guys. Um, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this space, please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button to become a part of this family. And if you always want to receive a lot of my videos like this, I upload videos daily, please turn on post notification. That way you'll be able to receive a lot of my videos. If you do not turn on post notification, how do you expect to keep seeing this black face? Huh? Anyways, guys, today's MTN Yellow Star show was tagged the elimination show. Remember, last week Sunday was the nomination show, and then today um, was the um, elimination show. Guys, it was really, 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 really nerve-wracking because I did not want two people particularly to go home, and those were Dave Wills and Uzezi, but it really, really broke my heart when um, their names were mentioned and they had to go. They were evicted, actually. It really, really pained me. Guys, have a look at their emotional exit. No! What? What? No! Anyways, of the bottom five contestants, the only person that made it back into the game was G Wheels. It was quite an emotional one anyways, because the truth is when you see all those contestants doing their thing, you're just super excited for all of them. You don't want them to go. But then um, four people had to go home today. But then this, the show that's empty and yellow star, they did something quite commendable, something very, very interesting. Now, normally on a reality TV show, when a housemate or a contestant is evicted from the show, they are gone. Like they just leave the show. Sometimes in some cases, um, they do not even get to go away with some of the things that they have won from the show. Yeah. Um, but in the MTN Yellow Star show today, they did something quite surprising and very, very shocking for me. Now, the four contestants who were actually evicted earlier on tonight, they were given an opportunity to continue the, the music course and the entrepreneurship courses. One from New York and the other one from the UK. Guys, that was simply amazing. I mean, here was the moment Toby Bakary, um, the host of the show, asked the contestants if they wanted to continue um, taking the course um, despite not being a part of the competition. Enterprise and empowerment, we at MTN, are going to give you, the evicted contestants, a chance to continue your certification program with the Berklee College of Music, New York, wow. and the Henry Business School, UK. But wow. that decision to stay or go lies with you. But here on stage, you're going to have to tell us, are you staying or are you going to go? Okay, let's start with Dave Wills. So Dave, um, would you be staying on to continue your certification program? Yes, I would be staying. I want to learn a lot more, so I'll stay. Most definitely. Yes, that was a wow moment for me. In my head, my head was just ringing like, ha! Now, wow, MTN, you boy, you boy, taking this whole thing to another level. Because, guys, it just, it just reconfirmed or reaffirmed what I thought about the show all along that, hey, this is not just a music reality TV competition or a show. I mean, this has gone beyond that. This is now a show of empowerment. Yeah, they do not want the contestants, whether you win or not, to just come onto the show and leave. I feel like they have shown that they respect the fact that these contestants have 
put a stop to their everyday lives just to be on this show and so for these contestants not to go away empty-handed they are helping these contestants to sharpen their tools and to sharpen their skills in the niche of music guys that is quite commendable and that was how g wheels went back into the competition and so for tonight guys the contestants had to perform songs from the niche or genre of reggae although some of the songs that they performed i was asking myself is this song actually reggae or not hmm. anyways guys let's start with the first contestant we had jesse drums <laughs> One word for Jesse Drums. Amazing. Improved. Control. Stamina. Charisma. Stage presence. Okay, I said one word, but I've mentioned more than one word. But guys, I noticed a lot of growth in Jesse's performance. Now, on a normal day, when you give the mic to Jesse, this is what it does. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like the guy is all over the place. He's got a great voice amazing personality but he's like it's as if it's like when you're doing fireworks so one million thunderbolts are just going everywhere all over the place you know but tonight i love the fact that his performance was a clear evidence of a lot of grooming in the mtn yellow star music academy these people are learning a whole lot jesse drums was so poised and composed while delivering that piece and i loved every bit of it but the sad part for me was that the judges gave him a score of seven and this is the power i have to tell somebody to hold me because the day i went on my tv i would go and carry kane and flog on maomi and um, banji w and olisa because come on give the guy a bit more credit give him a bit more score he did great anyways the next contestant that performed that i was just looking like this let me see what you would do now was faith Faye diamond guys listen to her performance and let me know what you think guys there's something i've noticed about fei fei's style of singing she's a very very subdued singer her voice is very very subdued she i feel like she doesn't really have that energy to be screaming and shouting and going all over the place yeah but for crying out loud this is a competition i understand she has voice control and sometimes there is a tiny bitty 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 bit of flatness that comes in when she's singing don't get me wrong she's got an amazing voice amazing amazing voice she's got a star quality like when you see the way she dresses her outfit her attires for stage performance she's always looking fab but i feel like the judges are giving her too much score this is my verdict i mean this is the fourth time i am watching Fei Fei diamond perform on that stage and to the best of my knowledge about music and performances guys Fei Fei diamond is not really the, one of the best performers amongst all the contestants but for some weird reason or for some reasons best known to the judges i feel like they just keep giving her one of the highest scores i understand okay fine maybe they like her voice they want her to remain on the competition but hey jesse deserved the eight that fei fei diamond got if fei fei diamond had gotten the seven that jesse got hey i wouldn't complain but the judges gave her an eight and i'm wondering why anyways guys let's move on to the next contestant we had storm and storm performed slow down i didn't really hear the name of the artist but then watch his performance and let me know what you think hey guys okay let me not just lie eh? i was watching storm perform and i was asking myself like guy i don't understand this your dancing movement with your video vixen or your stage vixen it has gone beyond normal performer and dancer performance because it seemed like the guy was kind of carried away 
with what his stage vixen was doing because at some point he was moving his mic away from his mouth i i, I it look it's one thing to enjoy yourself on the stage when you're performing and it's another thing to being too playful and then forgetting that you're actually performing in a competition and i think that that was the downfall for um storm on tonight's performance he was completely playing and having too much fun with the stage vixen yeah to the point that he completely missed his performance so his performance was just of zero quality to me and Olisa said the same thing and i guess Olisa also saw what i saw because Olisa was like this is just way below storm okay and so at the end of his performance he scored um 5.3 not bad in fact the guy was even lucky to even get a 5.3 moving on to the next contestant we had gideon and gideon performed daddy yo by whiskey guys check out his performance <laughs> Listen guys, no matter what you say, Gideon impressed me. Guys, I've said this at the beginning of my reviews about the show. Gideon is one of those contestants, just like Fei Fei Diamond, that is a very, very romantic singer. Gideon is not the kind of singer that does all this kind of gra-gra music, you know? It's not in his blood. But watching him perform Whiskey's um, Daddy-O, Daddy-O, make me dance, you know? I was really impressed because he had a lot of fun on stage. And he really, really did well with the song. So it made it not so obvious that this is not his genre of music. And I was really, really impressed. I was so, so proud of him. At the end of his performance, the judges scored him a score of six. And I, once again, I was very, very upset because I said, come, these judges, can you people please recognize when these contestants are coming out of their comfort zone to give us the best of the best? Because, okay, fine, Gida might not have given us the best of the best, but hey, he came out of his comfort zone. That is not Gideon's genre of music. But he came out of his comfort zone and he went into the, the whiskey zone and hey, he did well. Anyways, guys, moving on to the next contestant, we had the Double Trouble Twins. We had Oiza and May and they performed Bam Bam. What a bam bam. Hey, one word. I promise this is just one word. Okay, two words in one. <laughs> two words in one that I have for Oiza and May. Well done. Yes. Guys, talking about synergy, these twin sisters, they now have synergy. They now have control over their performance. They are now in sync. This is one thing I've been complaining about from a long time, from the beginning of my reviews of this show. And I'm super excited that they are learning a lot in the MTN Low Star Show Academy. They are doing great. And I'm super, super happy. I was really excited when the judges scored them 8.1. I'm like, okay, nice, well-deserved. Now guys, moving on to the next contestant, we had Caesar. Watch his performance. I swear down, if the judges are not giving Caesar that 9.3 that they gave him, we for fights. <laughs> Tomorrow is Sunday. Ah, nah. I would have entered the streets of Lagos. I would be shouting, Oh, Lisa, Baggy W, Oma Omi, where are you? Come out, let's fight. I mean, guys, that performance was amazing. I enjoyed it. That guy has evolved. I don't know if you've noticed, but Caesar has evolved. And I love the way he lets his emotions reflect in the way he performs it always comes out beautiful i was super excited to the point that even the the judges too they were really excited about his performance so um kudos to caesar he he deserved the 9.3 that he got now guys moving on to the one and only beautiful beautiful singer freeborn <laughs> You know what? The only thing I have to say about Freebone's performance is excellent. 
excellent performance. This woman, every time these days that she comes onto that stage, she comes in with so much fire, so much energy, so much creativity. I completely love her outfit. I totally, totally love the way she performed that song. I love the way she carried herself on that stage. That is just what I have to say. There is nowhere I can, you know, just comfortably say that mm, I didn't like this part. Mm -mm. I love that performance. So a 9.5 score, which was the highest score of the night, you know, it was a well-deserved score. Now moving on to the next performer or contestant, we had um, Dotti, Dotti, Siba. Hmm. I'm not happy, but just watch Dotti's performance. <laughs> One thing I noticed, guys, listen, in as much as I love Dottie's performance every time he comes onto the stage, I don't know, for some reason, I feel like Dottie did not really come out of his zone today. Dotty is a very very beautiful singer he has a very very flexible voice that he can you know sway to any direction he wants yeah but the thing is i don't know i don't know if he got too comfortable uh at being on the top two i don't know if he got too comfortable but for some reason he did well shao but mm, i just felt like Dotty could have done greater another thing i also noticed again I felt like maybe the judges were trying to balance the scale and so they probably did not really want to give um, Dottie and David Garland too much score. Probably they were trying to give opportunities to other contestants to at least have a taste of being on the top two. I don't know which one was at play today but for me, Shao, Dottie didn't really, really give 100% of his energy to today's performance. and. I wasn't really happy when the judges gave him a 7.3 because hey, come on, you have given him an 8 and he did well all the same. Anyways guys, that was the taste performance. Now moving on to my second hobby's performance, I'm talking about David Garland. Guys, watch his performance and let me know what you think in the comment section below. <laughs> See, this one, I want to fight. I want to fight. Guys, did you did you listen to David Garland sing? Listen, I feel, I, I, this one, I, I don't think the judges were fair. Why would I give David Garland a seven? And I will still make my comparison. David Garland's performance tonight, it was still wonderful. The guy did well and he improvised a lot. I mean, he made the song his own. So what I don't understand is why the judges gave him a seven. For me, I just felt it was completely unfair. And as I said about Dottie's performance and Dottie's score, I felt tonight like the judges were trying to balance the scale. I felt like they were trying to give opportunities to other contestants to have a taste of being at the top two. So I just wasn't happy about the fact that David Garland was given a score of seven. For me, that was way, 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 way too low for his performance because this guy did well. He carried the stage properly. He used the stage as a performer would and the lyrics and everything of that song, the rendition, everything came out on point so judges what the hell is your problem the last but not the least contestant we had for tonight was g isaac g isaac's performance was just very very funny guys just just watch for yourself <laughs> Remember that G. Isaac was on the chopping block tonight, so fortunately for him, he was not eliminated from the show. And so, Guy was just so filled with so much excitement and gratitude that while he was singing, he was just serenading the judges, serenading them, everybody, you know, thanking God. And when he was done singing, he had to say, Ah, thank you, Jesus. I'm like, this guy, you're so dramatic. And at the end of the night, he scored a 6.5. Well, the score wasn't so bad. 
And so guys, as usual, um, here are the top two contestants and the bottom five. Now the beauty about um, today's performance is that the slates have been wiped clean since the first elimination has taken place. And so today's score was over 10. Tomorrow's score is going to be over 20. And then everything is going to be rounded up onto over 30. And then we're not going to have a new cumulative score. Then probably we're going to have another bottom five and probably next week we're going to have another elimination show. But don't forget to watch tomorrow's show so that you can judge for yourself as well which contestant deserves to go home and which contestant deserves to stay on the show. That said, this is all for this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. Have an amazing night's rest. Bye.